So let's continue with our SharePoint quick questions and answers video session. And uh, so we are going to talk about question number four. What is the use of SQL Server in SharePoint and use of Virtual Path Provider? In one of the previous session, we had said that uh, SharePoint also uses SQL Server. We had said that you know SharePoint uses IIS as well as SQL Server. So in this session, we will discuss that why do we really need a SQL Server in SharePoint? And second, we'll discuss about one of a very important concepts called as the Virtual Path Provider. Right. Now, uh, when we talk about any site, there are two kinds of data for a site. One is the configuration data, which is basically uh, used by uh, all the sites. It's more of a standard data, which is shared across site. And the another one is the content data, which is particularly, which is particular to a site. So, for example, a payroll will have some kind of personalized information or, you know, some kind of data, which is only related to payroll, while the recruitment site can also have uh, some kind of data which is only related to him. So these kind of data which is related to the site or it's more personalized for that site or is more specific to that site is called as uh, is called as a content database. In the sense, there are two databases which are created over and overall. One is the configuration database which is common for all the sites and the another one is a content database. We will see in the further coming session that what basically these two of this uh, database store. But at this moment, just remember that SharePoint uses SQL Server to store generalized information in the configuration database, right, and specific content data in the content database. So whenever you create a site, there is always a content database created. There is one more important concept which SharePoint has, and that is the virtual path provider. We had also discussed that uh, basically. One of the questions which must be uh, coming into your mind is that what is SQL Server doing in SharePoint? Okay, understood that you know there is a content database which basically stores specific informations, and then there is this uh, uh, general database which, which or the customized database which stores more of a generic information. But basically, what is database doing over here? What is basically SharePoint storing the database? Well, SharePoint stores ASPX pages. In content database it stores custom pages in content database right let me again uh, explain you in more brief when we talk about any site there are two types of pages one is a custom page and one is a common pages like you know for example let's say that we have uh, some kind of site collection we can have uh, forgot uh, password dot aspx uh, probably settings dot aspx such kind of common pages which can be used by any of the site in the site collection so these are common pages and common pages basically lie in file systems in the sense it lies like a normal aspx page in iis file system right while custom pages are stored in sql server in a content database that is in the sql server content database so now anyone if it re he requests a page depending on that it's a custom page or it's a normal page or it's a common page it fetches from the content database or it fetches from the virtual directory database. When I say uh, who fetches is, I mean to say virtual provider. The virtual provider is nothing but your HTTP handlers and HTTP modules, which we discussed in the previous session. So basically, as soon as you say, okay, uh, when you request for a page, the virtual provider perceives, oh, this is basically a content page or it's a customized page. So it goes to the content database, fetches it, gives it to the ASP.NET runtime, runtime parses the page, and gives it uh, passes the page gives it back to the handler and handler gives it back to the client in the same way if it is a common page or it's it's more of common pages like setting.aspx or for, forgot password.aspx that's been fetched from the virtual directory your file system normally and given back to the uh, end user right so in this way we can say that when you talk about custom pages they are stored in content database when you talk about generalized pages which are not customized across site are stored in virtual directory we will come we will see in the in the coming sessions that what why basically sharepoint has architected in this way where it stores the pages in the database because one of the thinking which must be coming in your mind is that if uh, mind is that you know, if you store these kind of data the pages code data into databases and you parse it won't it be uh, inefficient won't, won't it tomorrow when we actually try to scale the site, will not it create a problem? So we'll answer all this question in the coming session. In this session, as we as we wanted to just focus on that, 
what is SQL Server doing in SharePoint and what is a virtual provider. So basically virtual provider is nothing but your HTTP handlers and HTTP modules which basically determines uh, how the data can be fetched, uh, I mean, sorry, which files can be fetched from which source, means it's from the content or it's from the virtual directory. While, uh, while SQL Server basically is used to store uh, the ASPX pages or we can say customize ASPX pages.